On this week's episode, we're heading over to the support tickets to answer a question that came in and deliver some training. Welcome to this week's episode of Future Focus. Welcome to this week's episode of Future Focus. I'm Justin Tolman, the Director of Training over North America here at Xtero. And this week, we are answering a question that comes from our support portal. And I just want to say that some of the tickets that come through our support portal are training issues. So make sure that you are getting the training that you need. Training.accessdata.com. Subtle plug. All right. So this question that came into the support portal they were looking at reporting on some email items and they weren't exactly sure how to do it in the best way to get the view that they wanted. So we're gonna do that now. We'll show you how to do that so that you don't have to access the support portal to get this question answered. All right, let's jump into FTK. So we're in FTK specifically on the bookmark tab and I've already bookmarked some emails. You'll see that in the file list below and you're gonna see a bunch of other files with it and that is the attachments. And so you're like, hey, why do we have so many files as attachments? And that's also because we have expanded the Microsoft Office documents to view the contents, dot docx, dot xlsx, dot pptx. All those things are container files that contain a lot of metadata and other things within it. And in FTK, you can expand that out to get different date times and information about the documents. Well, when we bring that over, it's gonna be there as well. So you have a couple options with that if you wanted to clean it up. We're not going to do that here, but if you wanted, you can remove all the support files from the document, or if you don't care about the metadata files, a lot of times you just may care about the content of the document itself or whatever the attachment may be don't expand those files and you won't see those things. If you don't wanna see something, don't run the processing option. To make this as easy as possible, you do wanna create a bookmark. And so that's why we're here. We've already done that. So we're gonna go up to file and report to launch the report wizard. Once the report wizard launches, we'll go ahead and deselect everything. You can fill that out if you want. For this video, we're skipping all that. We're jumping straight to bookmarks. We'll go ahead and check mark that. And we only have our one bookmark, so we'll go ahead and check mark that. And we only have our one bookmark, so we'll go ahead and check mark that. Now, our email files. So a couple things we want to select to make this the best that it can be. First off, we wanna include our email attachments. Okay, that's great. And we're going to export the files and include links. This will export the relevant files into our report so that they can just be clicked on and viewed however you would. If you don't do this, then all you're going to get is what is shown in the file list pane. So if you want the actual email or the attachments to come out in your report, make sure to check this option. We'll jump into export options and you wanna make sure that uh, link to exported email attachments and filter out attachments in the bookmark is selected. What this is going to do is reduce the redundancies in the report. We'll still get the attachments out, but what we're saying is don't make them an individual item within the report. Now, this is specific to the support ticket that was asked for. If you want every attachment to also have their own thing within the report, do not select this. So we'll click OK. And we're going to come down and we want to select columns and we want to make sure that we're on the email column. We're already there now. Just as a heads up, the default for the report wizard, the first time you run it in a case is report standard. That's just because we got to have something selected, but report standard is honestly not the column set you're going to want to use most of the time you're gonna to wanna to choose a column set that is for the artifact you are working with. Since we don't know what artifact you're working with before we create a generic column, get in and switch those to the one that makes sense. Since we're working with email, that's the one that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and click that. If we had any children in there, we would apply those settings. Now, of course you could go through, do the different bookmarks that you had, the different groups of email, the different types of report things such as file paths, file properties, whatever else was in your case. For this, we just have that uh, for this video. So we'll go ahead and click okay. The output options will come in. So we're gonna hit the ellipses here. We're gonna navigate out to the desktop and we'll make a new folder. 
on our desktop and we'll call it, I don't know, email report vid, okay? And we'll say that and we'll click okay and it's in and we'll select just for this one HTML, uh, this is fine. All right, so we'll go ahead and click okay to generate that. Once it's generated, the report will open up and we didn't fill in any of this information, so it's super uh, awesome. And we're gonna come into email report and what we get is this view. Again, you can modify the way that this looks by creating and using your own custom CSS so you can match color to your organization, logos, layout, all that sort of stuff. Uh, really easy to change and attach the CSS in the report wizard. But we had three emails bookmarked and so we have uh, the information for the email listed up here, such as uh, the from, the to, the subject, sent time, etc. And then we have the uh, attachments down here. So we can click on them and view them. So we have the graphic, we can go back, come down to this one. This is another PNG uh, of an Amazon review. And then we can come down and then we have the uh, manifesto draft one email that is a doc now for this one this is why i said you can go through and remove all the expanded office files out of this docx is our container so you're going to get this uh you could remove those from your bookmark uh and then it wouldn't be brought in like this but we have the manifesto.docx it's going to pretend like it downloaded it because it's html so it's going to move it there you can open it up and take a look okay and it's in an easy to read uh, format. If you wanted to read the email itself, you have the exported as, and you can click on that and view the content of the email while the metadata is in the uh, columns here. So uh, that's a really clean way of generating an email report uh, where you have the metadata and the attachments in the email itself is just one click away. Great for displaying it, organizing it, that sort of thing. And again, if you wanted to change the way this was organized, you can of course use CSS to modify it. So that's the answer to the support ticket on how to best display email in your report using the FTK report wizard. All right, thanks for watching this week and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.